AFC leader Raffle Trotman said its members were really hoping that President David Granger accepted their nominee for the position of GCOM Commissioner. The AFC as a party, I can tell you, is deeply disturbed and disappointed uh, that it was not um, chosen again to name the replacement. This is an ongoing saga. It has been ongoing for at least, I would say, eight years uh, between the opposition parties. We had been promised the position for uh, some time, and we had really hoped that uh, having been seen as a worthy partner in the coalition, that we'd be seen as worthy to name one of our ranks to the position we Trotman said the AFC feels that an injustice has been meted out and the executives of the party will soon meet to discuss the matter. There was a vacant post for a GCOM commissioner following the death of Sandra Jones, who was a People's National Congress reform nominated commissioner. After reviewing nominees submitted from all the coalition players, the president swore in the Working People's Alliance nominee Desmond Trotman as the new commissioner. I consulted widely among my coalition partners, and uh, Mr. Trotman was not the only nominee, but in my mind, he was the fit and proper person. He brings tremendous experience to the commission, and I am confident mm -hmm. that the people of Ghana will be very satisfied with this appointment. The AFC had nominated former Member of Parliament Trevor Williams and AFC Executive Member Beverly Alert for the position. Granger, when questioned by media operatives, explained why he thought Trotman was more suitable than the others. My judgment prevails and I'm empowered under the Constitution to exercise my judgment in this matter. And I believe that when all of the nominees are looked at, Mr. Trotman is the fittest person. What are some of his qualities that makes him fit and proper? Experience. You can't fake experience. Meanwhile, Trotman said he is honored to be appointed and he is looking forward to serving in his capacity in the interests of the people. And there is a Guyanese representing the interests of the people of Guyana. And I will hope that the, the other members of the commission will assume that same posture. I believe that the commissioners representing the government side will understand the importance of adopting a position that advances the interests of the, of, the, of the nation. And I will hope that the commissioners on the other side will take the same position. So I look forward to working with, with, on the commission and hope that um, whatever it is that we arrive at, whatever decisions we arrive at, are decisions that will advance the interests of the people as distinct from the interests of political parties. Trotman, who works at the controversial State Assets Recovery Agency, said he does not believe there is a conflict of interest in serving in the two capacities. However, he said if any legal counsel proves him wrong, he is willing to resign from SARA and continue serving on the Guyana Elections Commission. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.